Four Unlimited's, one Historic Vintage, and one GP race team showed up in Tri-Cities on Friday, June 2nd for a day of testing. We caught up with the U1 Home Street Banks driver, Jimmy Shane. Uh, we just had the first test run of the season here in 2017 for the Miss Home Street Bank hydroplane. Wonderful uh, out, out look on, on the run that we just had. Um, the boat had a complete overhaul in the off season and really what we were trying to do was run the boat hard, make sure everything got put back together in one piece and uh, we performed that flawlessly. The boat ran fantastic. Uh, I would say the difference between last year and this year with the changes that, that we made is that the boat is much more clean and crisp on the water. Um, it's level flying down the straightaways and we were really challenged uh, with that, uh, trying to offset that last year. So we think we fixed some of the issues that we had last year. The boat seems to be handling the best it's been in the last couple of years and we're very, very happy with the results. Uh, now we're going to take that baseline run. We're going to throw some stuff at the boat that we've never tried before and we're going to see if we can hopefully improve the handling even more now and um, that'll be the goal for the next two test sessions. Just down the way, we visited with U9 Les Schwab's driver, Andrew Tate. Uh, the third run there, we pretty much had our qualifying set up on and let it rip, kind of seeing where we were. We left off in the same place as we were last year, and we think we're, we're pretty confident that we're picking up right where we left off, and we're going to have a good 2017. The boat feels great. Uh, the guys worked hard over the off season. They made a few changes, ripped the decks off and redid those uh, up front sponsor areas. And then we have a few other more subtle changes that we think are going to help going into season two. So, so far so good. Back for another season driving the U21 Payne West Insurance is Brian Perkins. Uh, it was good. It was good. We ran three times. Well, two really, but. Uh, Went out on the course three times. The first time was just kind of a shakedown run. We brought it back in and made sure all of our seals were good, bushings were good, and all that stuff. We left the boat right in the water. The second time we went out, ran like three quarter throttle. Everything felt good. Um, we've got our backup skid fin on the boat, which we've changed actually. So now we have our primary skid fin on the boat. Um, but uh, got some good notes on that. Went out and ran the third time and, and uh, ran full throttle to see how that stuff was going to perform and um, got good notes. So now we've got uh, new, the, the, the other engine in the boat, our Seattle gearbox and our race skid fin. So uh, see how it goes. U440 Bucketless Racing's driver, Dustin Eccles, is looking for a better season this year. Everything so far is looking really good. Uh, we started off this morning just kind of taking it easy and getting the feel for everything and making sure we didn't have any, uh, any problems and everything looked good. Uh, so we just ran it just a few minutes ago and again everything looks, uh, looks perfect. We ran a little harder that time. Um, still not going wide open but we're, we're closing in on it. We solved the, the main gearbox problems and uh, now we're just kind of fine-tuning some other little issues, just the same problems everyone else has. So we'll get through them. We got uh, we got a whole bunch of uh, a day left, and we'll keep chipping away at it. Gracing an unlimited race course for the first time in 40 years is the 1973 through 75 U1 Pay and Pack. It last ran as the Pay and Pack in 1977 in Tri Cities in Seattle. 
This revolutionary hull became the sport's winningest hull in history in its first four years. The boat is owned by Ken Muscatel and has been restored by the Hydroplane and Race Boat Museum in Seattle. Well, this is the national championship, the national champion boat and the revolutionary boat of the 70s. We won four consecutive national championships, two gold cups. The only reason it didn't win four gold cups is because they lost a prop and they lost the wing. That's racing. And this was a great, great boat. Raced by George, George Henley, uh, uh, Bill Muncy, uh, Mickey Riemann. This is a, a great boat. And uh, it's restored. Then it was after they got, after Bill sold it, because he went, was going to run the Blue Blaster, he sold to the Madison. This was the Miss Madison for a number of years. Just a great boat. It's just, it's just phenomenal. It ran fine, actually. We're, we're playing with propellers now to see because we're, we're spinning the propellers a little. We don't have enough bite on the propellers. And of course, we didn't know until you run the boat what you need. So we're going to try and... Uh, uh, we put a three blade on, which may blow up the boat on its nose, which would not be necessarily good. So it'll be a short run or it'll, it'll work. We'll see. The teams had a successful day of testing looking forward to the racing season.